What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Before we get into tonight's episode of Definitive Detail, I hope you enjoyed it or are enjoying the championship games. But I wanted to come out and say, listen, you know, to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. You know, I feel like I held up my end of the bargain, right? I came out last week. I told you guys this time next week, you're going to see consecutive plays and how broken Madden is. And when you have something like that happen, there's some expectations you set, right? You know, going to a burger place, you know, you hand the guy the $5 he expects, he hands you the meal you expect. End of transaction, everyone's complete. I met his expectation, he met my expectation, we're done. I did what I told you I would do. You know, for years, I had been told, you know, this is arcade mode. This is one play out of 50, two plays out of a thousand. You played the game for hours. This doesn't happen in my game. This is ultimate team. All those things, all those excuses are now gone. I took that feedback and I decided I was going to start something different. A whole series, definitive detail, very well received. I appreciate that. Very well commented, very well liked. With this stance of we need to make this game better. I want Madden Football 20 to be better. And if the ways I had been trying to do this before weren't working, then I needed to try something different. And I figured the first thing I needed to do was show on a per snap basis how flawed this game is. And no one other than Marcus Whitman, no one from the community has elected to respond to this. Now there is people in the community that work directly with EA, which I have no problem with. I've said from the beginning, I appreciate people that go out and increase their social media presence or generate a large amount of money for themselves or find themselves successful in other fields based on talking about video games, not just Madden, but any video game. But at some point, we all have to sit down to the table and realize, hey, listen, this game isn't that good. And we are all responsible for making it better. And that's what I don't understand. You know, you can have people in this community that personally do not like me, that just personally do not like me, want to see my channel fail, want to see me exposed. Great. Take these videos that I've done and show me where I'm wrong. You've also got people that will sit there and work directly with EA and promote themselves through EA, which again, I have no problem with. But take my content and show me all the positives I'm missing with this game that you're helping promote. Because that's where I get confused. If we got a better game, if we made a better product, we could, one, we could bring people back to this franchise, and two, we could make this game better. And how is that hurting anyone's channel by just talking about that? If you have more people playing the game, if you have more people enjoying the game, and you have people enjoying the game for a longer period, everyone would benefit. Not just the gamer. You know, now people may like to see your Madden Ultimate Team Pack videos. Now people may be more interested in your Madden lifestyle videos. So you would benefit yourself by making the game better too. But no one wants to have this discussion. We all want to pretend like these things don't happen. Everyone's willing to benefit. But no one's really willing to ask the hard questions as to why isn't this getting better. And if that's really the case, then it's no wonder it's not getting better. Because this is the feedback that's been needed. I apologize, it took so long for me to get to this point to figure out what I needed to do to change my approach. But as I said, there's nothing from the opposition. There's no one saying I'm wrong. There's no one showing me where all the good in this game is. And that's where we have to find some common ground. Whether you're an ultimate team player, whether you're a competitive player, whether you're an arcade player, or whether you're a simulation player, let's find a way to make the game better and more consistent so we can all enjoy it more. And I just don't see that happening. So I appreciate what you guys have done supporting this series. I am proud to tell you, again, I mean, the best content I've ever made, I promise you, the best content I've ever made is on the way. And I am honestly welcoming the day where somebody picks one of these videos up and decides to either try to prove me wrong about what this game is doing or openly engage in a conversation about the things this game does right. Because I'll tell you right now, we're about 20 plays in to what I've done and I've got one play, one play that you can look at and say, okay, this play actually functioned as advertised. It needs to be the complete opposite. I need 17, 18 out of 20 plays running properly. 
not the inverse. Appreciate you guys taking a couple minutes out of your day to watch this. I will be back very shortly with more comments.